Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kiger, and welcome back to part eight of the uh, part no part nine, sorry, of the DVD collection. We have a lot of box sets here today, um, so a lot of things to go through today. Uh, we have two more parts to do after this, then we're done. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. First up, we have. Mrs. Brown's Boys Live Tour for the love of Mrs. Brown. Um, this is one of the few shows that I actually really enjoyed. Um, sort of a sketch show, comedy. Uh, really, really good. Um, I want to get the complete box set of all of Mrs. Brown's. I think it is on BritBox. Really funny show. I don't really like a lot of new modern comedy, but I really enjoyed Mrs. Brown Boys. Same with the live tour, Mrs. Brown Rides Again. This is basically where they did it in front of a live audience. Uh, it sort of plays more like a, um, like a play. Whereas the show, again, the show is done in a live audience. But this one's sort of done more like a play. But it's really good. And this one's still sealed. Let me have uh, Dad's Army. The movie, I recently got a Blu-ray version of this, so I'll probably uh, sell this one. And of course, we have the show to go along with it, the original, which includes its complete seasons. It includes all of them. Uh, series 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, the Christmas specials. And you might be wondering why is there no season 2? Well, there was only three episodes that survived season 2. Which are on here. Um, season 2 uh, were destroyed or something by mistake. I, I don't know. There was a fire or something. Um, but they have three episodes surviving. Um, so it's its own thing. But classic, classic BBC comedy. One of the greatest comedies out there. BBC comedies were just so good back in the day. Nowadays, not so much. But back in the day... Uh, it's my partner's Midnight Beach Series 1. I think they like YouTubers originally. Um, I don't know. I think they were like spoof bands. So like a band that spoof a lot of songs, if I remember correctly. Then we have the Faulty Towers Complete Remastered Collection. Really nice. Um, love this show. I've seen it hundreds of times. One of my top favourite British comedies. Um, but this is a great set because it comes with so many special features in here uh, and even a booklet and things. Um, see so if I can get it out. Do a mini unboxing here and it's in great condition. Nice artwork here. Of course, showing what's on the disc commentary. Disc one, and disc three, three disc set. Of course. Two seasons, 12 episodes, and an accompanying booklet here. Going over some details, of course. Originally, um, John Cleese from Monty Python went off and made his own show. Really good, of course. The Fatty Owls there. <laughs> Watery Fowls, Farty Towers. The ongoing joke at the beginning of each uh, episode absolutely amazing i don't really know what the difference is in the remastered version um i imagine maybe it's widescreen i'll have to double check this i think i have watched um this version but the one on netflix i think is the standard version i have to watch the this one and see what the difference is then we have the Olympic 2020, 2012 Games um, box set. Includes the opening ceremony and sporting highlights. And the closing ceremony extras. Um, I don't really watch the Olympics. But this of course is uh, British. So you have to have your own country's one I, I think. London. Then we have Little Britain. Another classic BBC. Um, I actually haven't watched Little Britain. I've seen clips of it. Seems like the sort of thing I'd enjoy. I like sketch comedies. Stupidly dumb show. Um, but this is actually getting quite uh, more collectible. Now my condition's a bit shitty. But um, because the show actually was censored on Netflix. It was on Netflix but they censored it. Or they're taking it off. I don't know. So I imagine the DVDs are going to become a little bit more uh, collectible down the line. 
Then we have the Norman Wisdom collection. Comes with pretty much all of his movies. Norman Wisdom is such a funny um, movie series. He was so good. Um, I used to watch these all the time with my granddad. I love old school British comedy early black and white comedy and this is a great set comes with all of these movies the one that i can't remember which one i watched but it might have been just my luck but there was one i used to watch where he was a milkman and i always remember my granddad had that on vhs and i always wanted to watch it it was so good classic classic um comedy here this is itv sorry not bbc uh, then we have the Indiana Jones Crystal Skull. Um, I do have the box set with uh, the complete box set of the first three movies on DVD, the collector set. I don't know where it is. It might be in here. It might be in the next part. Um, of course, classic uh, character. Um, I hear this movie is actually really bad um, or they really fucked it up. I haven't watched it yet. I... I don't know if I want to. Uh, Harry Hill, TV Burt, the best bit. Love Harry Hill. This show just used to make me laugh. Basically, he would do like a sketch comedy each week and sort of talk about the stuff that's in TV and make jokes about it. Uh, like Coronation Street, you'd make jokes about things. It's so funny. If you like those sort of things, I highly recommend this. Really, really funny. Um, he went off and he did another show later on, but I never watched a later show. Can't remember what it was called. I think it was like Spaceship or something like that. Um, but this is just the best bits and some stuff that was never released on TV. Love Harry Hill, so funny. Um, and he used to be a, a doctor or something or something like that. Then we have this Schwarzenegger collection, comes with Total Recall, Red Heat, Raw Deal, and Red Sonja. Mainly got it for the um, Total Recoil classic movies here with the Arnie himself, the man. Another must have for any British fan. The Mr. Bean complete classic um, series. I might upgrade this because they do have a version which comes in like a big set and it comes with everything. It comes with all of the TV, live action, the movies and also the animated series. This does include um, a couple of bonus animated things on here. But Mr. Bean, excellent sketch comedy. So, so good. Um, Rowan Atkinson will always be remembered for Mr. Bean. But I like some of his other work, Blackadder and stuff. He's a great actor. He can really do things. He he did an interview recently saying that he don't think he'd ever return to Mr. Bean because it's very exhausting to play him, apparently. Ricky Gervais, um, the complete first season, the Ricky Gervais show. Really funny show. It's like an animated talk show. Really, really funny. I highly recommend this. So good. Um, it's stupid, but it's funny. Uh, then we have two pints of lager and a packet of crisps. Uh, series 1 and 2, um, I might upgrade this version because you can get a complete season 1 to 6 and then just buy 7, 8 and 9. Um, this was another, I think this was Channel 4 originally. Um, oh no, it was BBC. I used to remember watching this with my cousin. Loved this show, really funny. Um, sort of early 2000s. I think it is also on BBC iPlayer. Then we have the Godfather Coppola Steph Restoration, a five disc set, comes with all three movies and just a ton of special features. Of course, the classic movie, one of the best ever made. Then we have The Office, the uh, British version, season one. I actually haven't watched the uh, British version of The Office. I've seen the American one all the way through. And I really like the American one. Normally I don't like American versions of British shows. But I think Steve Carell did an amazing job. And of course Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant um, oversaw the um, the American one. So they made sure that they kept it true to the the uh, thing. And of course season two. This is on Netflix, BritBox and stuff. So... Um, I don't know, might get rid of these because they're not as um, collectible or anything. I don't know, I might just sell them all. Um, and then the uh, Christmas episodes, there's not really a lot of special features on here. There are a few 
special features. I love Ricky Gervais. He actually, um, I think, originally grew up in Reading from where I was originally from. Then we have um, uh, another amazing MTV show, Dirty Sanchez. This basically is like jackass, but ten times worse. It is so over the top. Season 1, which I need to go back and watch these with my partner. Season 2, where they go around the world doing all these different jobs. They do some crazy stuff. Like there's one part where they're um, working in like a health and beauty salon. And they're just literally pouring shampoo in each other's eyes. It's, it's very gruesome stuff. Season 3, which is basically where they go around the world doing a world tour. Imagine, I would have loved to have seen one of their live shows. It would have been crazy. And season four, which is basically um, a behind-the-scenes um, footage of the movie, basically. Then we have Wallace and Gromit Complete um, Collection. This isn't the Complete Collection because it doesn't include the movie, but it includes all four of the shorts. Absolutely love them. I think a, a close shave is my favourite. And it does come with some cool bonus features as well. Garfield 3 film collection comes with all three Garfield movies. 1 and 2 and the animated Gets Real. Um, I, I, I enjoyed these movies. Bill Murray, of course, um, playing, um, doing the voice for Garfield. I think it was Bill Murray. I'm not sure. I don't know. Really, really, they are, they're quite good films. Uh, then we have this 20th Century 8 DVD box set of military aircraft. I have no clue why I got this. Um, might be an interesting watch. I do like weapons um, and things like that. So I like learning about those sort of things. And then we have the Planet of the Apes box set. It's missing the outer shell. Comes with all of the five original movies and a bunch of bonus features on here. Great set. I still yet to watch them. Then we have the Rocky collection. Comes with all six Rocky movies. I might upgrade this to a Blu-ray. I'm not sure yet. Um, not the greatest set, but of course, classic movies. The Chronicles of Narnia, the original BBC live-action TV show. I have watched The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I need to watch the other three. Um, it's a very sort of out-there show. The special features in this, the special um, effects are retardedly bad. But it's, you know, it, it, it's for its time, I guess. We I mean, have kind of a cool one here. Lord of the Rings... Um, ultimate critical review um this is basically based on the animated um show here and it's almost like a digipack comes with the uh disc one and it comes with this really thick booklet here talking about the lord of the rings um i'm not sure if this is um i don't know how rare this is i imagine i don't know when you where you got this from um i might have to look this one up I think it's um, talking about Lord of the Rings in general, um, the book or the uh, DVD. Um, I'm not entirely sure what exactly this follows. I think it may follows about the book or I don't think it's based on the live action movies. I think it's more the anime. I don't know. It looks really cool. I'm definitely going to have to have a read through that. Let me know in the comments below whether or not this is quite rare. I'm going to have a look at this online. Then we have The Lion Man. A Sky One TV show. It's my partner's. I'll save these uh, American ones for last. Uh, then we have The Inbetweeners. Complete seasons 1, 2 and 3. Really funny show. I enjoyed The Inbetweeners. Channel 4. Sitcom. Pretty funny show, definitely great British comedy. Uh, then we have another sort of interesting one here. I got this with a magazine set. Like they used to sell like these magazines that come with DVDs and things, and it was a Nazi themed. It was basically how the Discovery thing about the Nazis connection to um, the Nazis collect um, to the occult. So we have the Messiah Power of Darkness one here. 
I love World War II history and it's really uh, interesting to see some of the darkest stuff. Uh, dark fellowships. Sort of exploring the occult and uh, I mean, the occult conspiracies. Be interesting to see what sort of stuff here. And of course you've got to have the UFO conspiracies as well. How true some of this stuff is, I don't know. It's probably quite out there, but you know. Uh, then we have some animated stuff. We have Dante's Inferno. Technically this should be with the anime stuff, but really actually really good. It's based on the it's based on the video game. Um of course, video game based on the old novel. Dante's Inferno. Actually really good. I highly recommend watching this one. I think it's from the same people who did the uh, Dead Space animes. Then we have X-Men Legend of Wolverine. Movie. I did have the X-Men um, live act. Uh, the, move, the, v the DVD season 1 to 3. But they're all on Disney Plus now. So I sold. I'm selling that. A double bill here uh, of the Mortal Kombat TV show. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's take a over-the-top violent um, movie uh, video game and make a kid's TV show on it. Then we have the Avengers um, Ultimate Avengers movie collection. Comes with 1, 2 and the next Avengers. I need to watch these because they, they look pretty cool, actually. And then we have Earth's Mightiest Heroes, The Avengers. Love this show. I really enjoyed this one. I haven't watched the other Avengers TV show yet. I need to watch that. And then we have the Iron Man Season 1 and 2. Um, this is <laughs> this is uh, very for, for its time. I think it was uh, 1980s or early 90s. I'm not too sure. But the transformation scenes are just timeless. And then we have a bunch of these Mill Creek um, box sets that come with a ton of movies. First up we have Wrath of the Sword, 20 legendary movies. Comes with 20 movies on here. Uh, Day of Wrath. These are all based around um, we've got some of the classic Tarzan movies on here. Hercules, Harold the Great. All sort of things to do with Greek gods and um, Rome and stuff like that. Then we have the Enemy Under Fire. 20 war films. Comes with 20 war films. And I think a lot of these are um, like how they get away with releasing all of these. I think a lot of them are um, public domain now. Or oh, I'm not too sure. Some war films on here. Love World War II films. Then we have the Sci-Fi Fever collection. Um, although there is, I will say, there are a couple on here that actually are on the... Um, I'm sure a couple on here that are on uh, the big box set that I have. Some sci-fi films on here. They... War of the Robots. And then we have the Western one. I do want to try and get the big one. There's one with 200 Western films. But it's actually kind of hard to find. Some classic Westerns here. I used to love watching Westerns as well with my granddad. And then probably my two favourite ones that I own. 50, well 100 Kung Fu movies. These are just so awesome. These are just... The Chinese Kung Fu, the bad dubbing, over the top, you know, fights on here. Got some classic Big Boss 2, Ninja, 18 Shaolin, Shaolin Death Squad. These are just so over the top. Just awesome fight scenes, over the top, um, crazy, um, you know, fight scene, but stupidly dumb uh, story just so dumb i just watched these for the fight scenes they're so good and it also included the martial arts one on here again black cobra heroes of shaolin jive turkey ninja death ninja pr pr 
protect her, which I actually do have a standalone version of that as well. So, love these things, Cry Kid USA. Just awesome. Love those sort of films. But there we have that. So, the next part will be, by the looks of it, mostly going to be some more TV shows and things. Although I see something that shouldn't actually be there. That should be the Blu-ray stuff. Um, and then the last will be one big part as well at the end. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm uh, going to play some more Bioshock 2. I did beat the, the main game, but I want to do the Minerva's Den DLC because I hear that it's about three to five hour long DLC. So it's not, as, um, you know, it's not just the challenge mode. So I'm going to do that before starting another game i'm not sure what my next game will be but anyway guys if you enjoyed today's video feel free to lay a like and of course comment below let me know are there any particular things out there that you want for your collection anything here that you think is pretty awesome i love these uh, mill creek sets i know that they're not great transfers or you know don't have subtitles or anything but um you know these are just awesome and it's funny because i thought these were um region locked but they don't actually have anything about them being region locked um i don't see anything on here saying region one i think they just region three to be honest so um i know mill creek has a lot of awesome box sets so but on my my blu-ray player will play any dvd so um i don't know about blu-rays but dvds for sure anyway guys if you did uh, and of course uh subscribe if you haven't already and join the family and as always guys Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch and the eBay store. All in the link on the description. And as always, have a nice day and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.